In this video, we're gonna look at how the different pros hold B-Sight Mirage. And if you guys wanna see more of these pro coverage videos, let me know in the comments. And I hope you enjoy the video. The first clip is your classic 3B pistol setup by FaZe, and it's really effective, especially with Cold Zera's off angle for this particular round. Olaf Meister is simply gonna jump to spot any T's. He's also the one on pistol round with a smoke and a kit, which is good to have on at least one player. Unfortunately, he dies rather quickly. Nico's gonna play towards bench, which is supposed to be a crossfire setup with Olaf, and notice how he's looking into the wall now just in case of a flash, so he doesn't get blinded. Unfortunately for him as well, he's gonna drop without a kill. But here comes the man of the moment, Cold Zera. Cold Zera's gonna hide behind this pillar which blocks him from any flash, and it's a really powerful angle because of the crossfire setup, giving him some juicy kills. But for now, he has to fight. Two players in front of him, only good for one, as he goes to a three on three very quickly. Cold Zera, it's all Cold Zera so far in a quad kill. Speaking of juicy, here's Now Drinks. A focus drink with healthy ingredients, no taurine, no caffeine, and with four different flavors. Their latest is called Green Apple, which is sugar free and happens to be my favorite. Now Drinks keeps me focused at night and I can definitely vouch for it. Click on the link below to get to their shop and if you want my recommendation, get the Green Apple. If you are playing a solo queue game and you are holding B, this is your starter kit from Stacy. He's gonna molly deep apps early then wait until the molly is gone so you can throw a well-timed grenade if any T's are waiting behind it. He then spots a player, throws his smoke, and falls back to play from bench. With his smoke covering his left side, he can focus on sight without being overwhelmed and play safely behind bench if T's decide to shoot through the smoke. His teammate Malta is gonna spray the kitchen while Stacy's molly is in apps in case someone's behind it. When the push comes out, he proceeds to molly under window and plays around Stacy's bench position. So much damage as well, just with a classic jump spot, soon to get contact, cast the nade out, and try and do as much damage as physically possible towards the B site. Very, very beautiful hull. Jason, so many frags found already. Here's a B hop trick so you can safely spot anyone coming B apps. MBK positions himself to be able to see all the way back and is simply B hopping for info. But with bad timing, he gets caught off guard. And this is just to show you Brolan's POV. Even with MBK dying in this example, it's the B hop trick from his position that is generally very useful for spotting B apps. This CT hold naturally turns into a powerful bait setup due to how both Sanji and Kicker are positioned. Here's how it goes down. Sanji's gonna hold the B push with his AK from this close yet powerful angle that T's normally don't check since they're busy clearing the site. Kickert's gonna first molly short, then play underneath Sanji to hold his short and window jump. Since no one's jumping out, he quickly decides to help him out from further back towards the van. The T's are not expecting a second player close by, which is why this turns into a powerful bait setup. The incendiary going short because it's not apps, and so it's Sandy's bullets that have to do the heavy lifting alongside Kicket. That should be enough. Multi kill central on B. OG is playing a heavy mid setup with four players against FaZe. During this setup, Valdez's only job is to hold off a B rush, and he does it by throwing a smoke, a grenade, and positions himself behind the smoke. After Cold Zera dies against four CTs mid, the call comes out to quickly push B, and Valdez is able to punish them. Notice how he then tries to delay as much as possible for his team to arrive. He ends it with a triple kill and 100 HP. 
defuse kit. Cold Star is going to be catching the opening frag here. Connecting on to NPK. Beautiful stuff from Valde, though. This is a really clever B-hold from FaZe using just pistols. It works so well since no one gets isolated into 1v1 duels, and it's pretty much built to be a trap. Olaf Meister is going to play the van position. He gets flashed, but just notice how he's not looking to take any duels where he could get easily isolated. Broki is going to move to this position to hold short together with Nico. During the apps push, he's going to focus on the entrance, chuck a nade in, and get a beautiful P250 kill. Once again, avoiding to overpeak so he doesn't get isolated as well. Nico's gonna hold short with Brokey, but as we all know, the T's decide to push out from apps. He decides to swing out and gets this crazy one dig, which I hope to see more of in G2. Coldzera can hear the T's first, so he's able to call the push, while also staying clear from short and apps. He also looks into the wall for any incoming flashes. Finally, as things are starting to clear off, he decides to clear short alone because, well, he's the bounce. Alex, take it away. Oh my goodness, first two. Taste of their own medicine imminent already. Bodies dropped as you commit to me. Oh, Nico oh, Deagle, oh, he feeds to 50. This is a quick and useful boost that you can do to save some time and peek before the T's arrive. Snatchy's gonna position himself right next to the shadow on the ground and stand still. Faven's gonna crouch jump to get up on top of Snatchy, then jump up and take a peek. For this to work well, the Opper needs someone with a better spawn to boost him to not lose any time. Here's the same boost, but combined with an awesome set strat by Big, with the intention of taking early B apps control. Santeris is gonna smoke deep apps with a jump throw. He then holds short and connector. Tabson is gonna boost Tizian. Then he's gonna throw this flash to allow Tizian to peek kitchen safely. The following isn't necessarily B related, but it's still good stuff to know. He throws a grenade towards chair and then lines up this smoke for connector. Notice that he crouches and then jump throws. Finally, he ends his utility usage with a molly underpass. Tizian gets the fun roll of pushing B apps with Santaris, smoke, and Tapsen's flash. Now that he has B apps control, he's simply gonna play anti flash until the smoke is about to fade, then re smoke it. Time is ticking, and all Tizian needs to do is delay as much as possible. Before the smoke fades, he throws a well timed grenade in case someone's behind it. Tizian's able to get one, but more importantly, he's able to warn his team about the B hit in advance. Oh, look at Tizian. So much space gained, actually, within the map. Slap a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and you want to see more pros holding different sights on different maps. Stay awesome, and go bananas.